What is up everybody on the YouTube? This is Tune with a Key Tune with a Key Play. <laughs> Sorry about that little flub up there. Back with another my Jaw Monster <laughs> video episode. Sorry. <laughs> um this time we're we're gonna be doing the mammoth. Otherwise known as Bum 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 <laughs> And as always Let's start by reading the bios. Mammoth's luxurious fur ensures that these cold element elementals are never chilly. Tangles, however, are an ongoing issue. Their resonant anthem celebrates blizzards and frosted windows. Mammoths do not do do not shovel snow. What does the baby say? Heart meltingly adorable, the infant's in love. The infant mammoth's the infant mammoth loves to be held and cuddled. It's it it's rumbling giggles the air as it twiddles and tickles its own feet and toes. Luscious and dense, the fully grown mammoth's fur is unrivaled as an insular against the both the inferno of a volcan volcanic field and the numbing cold of empty space. I guess that's why they do so well on on the more on the fire islands. And I guess Earth Island as well. This Goliath can flourish virtually anywhere. Mammoth makes use of its gruff, rumbly bass voice when performing. Its, ver its versatile vocal cords allow it to create sustained notes, as well as shorter, em emphatic bursts of notes. If you hear any cars um going by in the background, I have my microphone next to a window on, on, on my desk. Anyway, let's... I was thinking um, of drawing the mammoth, like, sinking to a... to a... old window. Well, to a window in general. And I did not mean to start with green fur. Let's do like one arm going up up here like that. And the other one the other arm. Kinda like that. Waving through window oh fingers Something like that I guess the the window should have been bigger Should I should I um do a I <laughs> I kind of want to do a reference to Bob from from the My Singing Monsters cha YouTube channel and social media in general and their social media in general. Maybe I'll do like a mailbox that says Bob. Well, Bob the Mammoth has a name, but I wonder if the fur corn that also is that big blue, big blue bubble, if they have a name.
like the like the uh, toe jammer and then noggin. I'm not gonna do the toenail. I want to keep it kind of kawaii desuda. <laughs> you know, kind of cute. Big old feet over here. You know, hmm. I think I might draw the baby mammoth over here tickling its own feet. But first, let me draw the teeth. It's supposed to be the uvula back there. Wait. Actually, the uvula is like behind the bottom row of teeth. Like that. If you look at the picture, if you look at pictures of Ma, of Mammoth, not, not Ma, we're not there yet. We're not at the dee 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 yet. But we we will get there, but not yet. And a cute and like a little mammoth over here. Like might be too big for a baby. Tickling its big old feet. That eye doesn't look right. There we go. And, uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put the egg. But I was thinking of putting, like, a snow shovel over here. I know they. I know it says that mammoths don't like to shovel snow, but I. I just thought it would be funny to have a snow shovel over there, in the corner. You know. And and the egg is just a ball of fur. Like that. Hmm. Now cold art. Before we get to cold art, I'm, I'm just. I guess I could do like a grayish kind of. Uh, excuse me. I just had some soda before recording this. I am sorry. Excuse me, princess. Oops. Did not mean to color over Mammoth's eye. Right there.
can I, I can tell her that in a, nope, not yet. Hmm. What if I just kept it white since they have white fur? And gone with the eyes, like, or like a yellowish gold, yellowish oranges kind of thing. A little bit more yellow there. I kind of like that. And I imagine that the baby is too. Dang it. <laughs> like that. And the toes? They really do put their feet on the ground, don't they? they move their hands all over. Wave their hands in the air and move with the sound. <laughs> Sorry, this is a cold island monster, not a earth island monster. <laughs> what, do the earthquake is a catchy song? And yeah, let's just continue coloring it in. Because I am so quiet right now. <laughs> I might do the the variants of the common monster, you know, the rares and epics. And maybe the prismatics, but I, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Maybe sometime in the future. We'll see what happens. And, uh, what? What kind of color is a uh, cold island? It's like an icy blue. Kind of like a light blue kind of thing. Kind of like that. So, a bit more like that, I think. Hmm. Maybe like... Maybe. Maybe a bit more blue and a bit less green. Yeah. That looks icy to me. First, let, let me finish with Mammoth's fur <laughs> over here. And then, like that. Yeah, that's a nice frosty blue if I do. That's kind of like Elsa's dress from Frozen, isn't it? I mean, it, it would make sense since she has ice powers. And, uh, yeah. On the topic of Frozen, it's not really my favorite Disney movie. And yeah, that, that's pretty much all I have to say on that topic. It's not really my it's not really my favorite. I guess I can have the building gray. I don't know. <laughs> like the handle of the there we go yeah that looks good and I just noticed that the baby mammoth's legs they're they're all covered in in the icy blue let me take care of that real quick 
Let me turn them back to snowy white. Just color the whole thing white because it it was more transparent than anything before. Oh, then I need to make the mouth white with the teeth and the pearly whites of of mammoths. And with that, that looks that's that looks pretty good. Don't don't you think? And yeah, I think I'm going to leave this episode of Draw Monster here. And I guess next time, let's, let's draw Tweedle, right? <laughs> anyway, this, happy monstering and bye -sies!